Hi folks, this is Vince and Vinny Jr. with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Magic Maze. We just got this in the mail and figured we'd try it out. It's for 1 to 8 players, ages 8 and up, and the average play time is about 15 minutes. Based on what I read, uh, this is a cooperative game where these heroes are uh, basically trying to steal items from this mall and then escape before the time limit expires. The uh, sand timer is 3 minutes. Though, whenever you land on one of these hourglass spaces, um, first it goes out of order, meaning that you can't use it again, and then you flip it, regardless of whether or not you get more time or not. So, uh, you know, if it's, if it's halfway, let's say it's at a minute 30, and you decide to land on one of these, you still have a minute 30 because you flipped it. If you had only 30 seconds left, then you'd have 2 minutes and 30 seconds after flipping it. So, you want to land on these when you're about to run out. But anyway, as far as the components go, uh, rule book, it's about 8 pages long. The rest is just in different languages here, so don't be, don't be like, oh my gosh, look at all these rules! No, they're just in all different languages. But basically, um, the rule book explains a solo game, uh, how to set up the game, and then the rules will change depending on what scenario you play. Um, the gist of it is, players are going to be controlling all four of these characters. Uh, like, I am not yellow. I am not green. I am not orange. I am not purple. Instead, all of us are playing these characters. Uh, what we're going to be working together on is these are action cards. Each player gets an action tile, or action, not an action card, but action tile at the beginning of the game, and that is what we can do. Uh, you know, so that's all we can do. So we're relying on other people to take the appropriate action when we want them to. The, the kicker is we cannot communicate out loud with each other normally. In the introductory game we can, and that's what we're going to play today. Um, as far as the rest of the components go, uh, you've got more tiles in the box. Again, uh, there's like, this is a 6, 7, 8 on the very bottom right. That tells you basically, you know, based on how many people are playing the game, you're going to want to hand these out. 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you're going to use uh, certain tiles depending on um, how many people are playing the game. Some are two-sided and so on. This is for the solo game here. And then there's more uh, of these room tiles in the box. Now, the introductory scenario says that you need to pull out uh, tiles 2 through 9. These are room tiles. Uh, and basically, uh, you're going to be uh, using the explore action. Well, one player will be using the explore action to uh, basically reveal more rooms and uh, try and find spaces like this where uh, that, that matches the appropriate color. So yellow is going to try and land here at some point. When all four characters have found uh, their location. They steal the items simultaneously, and then they try and get to the exit, which uh, should be a purple... here it is. So here's the purple exit there, and that's, again, before time it runs out. So you're going to take... Um, you're going to take... well, in this introductory scenario, you're going to take tiles uh, 2 through 9, shuffle them up. You're also going to take the beginner tile 1A, and place that out and put the pawns on the starting portals. Uh, speaking of portals, that's another action. He actually has it. So uh, whenever, uh, let's say, green lands on a portal space, he can warp to any other location. So it's sort of like a fast travel system. This big pawn here is uh, not a first player mark, as you might think. It's a do something. Since we can't openly communicate, well, we are going to this game. But uh, normally, since you can't communicate, you know, you, you, you're going to be like, do something, do something! Like that, that's sort of like an indicator to another player to say, hey, I need you to perform one of your actions on your tile, please do it. Pay attention. So, uh, and then this back here, uh, we just simply flip this whenever we've stolen everything. The portal system shuts down, and we have to make our way to the exit before the time limit expires. Um, these are out of order tokens, like I was explaining earlier. Um, as we land on these, the sand time will be flipped. Again, this is a three-minute sand timer. I think I covered everything. Uh, also in the box came this scorecard, I think it is. Uh, the Great Book of Challenges, like Scenario 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how to use this. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, again, we just got the game. But for the most part, um, it seems pretty simple, so let's get right down to it. Um, and I'm going to be sort of adjusting gameplay a little bit here in the sand timer for the sake of filming and because this is our first time playing. So, uh, Vinny, do you, have, do you know what you're doing here? You are going to be moving all four of these characters, just like I'm going to be moving all four of these characters. There are no turns, it's real time, we just do whatever we feel like doing, okay. but I cannot interrupt your turn, and you cannot interrupt, like, my, like, if I'm moving somebody, you can't stop me. 
from, yeah. from moving. But we will communicate openly, even though uh, normally we wouldn't. The yeah. introductory game, we can, and it would make good video if we did, because uh, otherwise people would just be looking um, at us playing a game silently, which doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. How many spaces can you move with this action? Uh, as many spaces as you want. So you can go down as many spaces as you want, left as well. I can. I can move down, uh, left. And it's also important that whenever you get your action tile, each player gets one of these randomly at the beginning of the game. And it's important that they all face uh, north at, uh, along with the room tile. So this, this room is facing north, and this is facing north, and this is facing north. So that's just important for the for the sake of the movement actions. Uh, this is an explore action, so whenever I get the orange pawn up here, I can reveal new tiles. When I use the stair action, I can go up the stairs here. Um, so for example, uh, before the game starts, we can actually, players can discuss openly. Uh, so for example, I might want you, uh, you know, as a suggestion, to use your right arrow or your right movement ability to move green That's over to here and then I could use the stairs to move up here and then I can use the explore to reveal a new room. I could do something exploring. like that. And then there's a wall here so you could use the right one to move orange here and then up to move orange here and then I can explore with orange and move up that mm -hmm. way. So there's again we can plan this out um, and I'll try and pay attention to the different we colors. Use tire, tile, the timer. Yeah we're gonna use the timer just just for the heck of it. Alright so you ready? Yeah. Give us a go. Alright so okay so I'm gonna do this. You're gonna do that. I'm gonna use the stair action and the explore action so this little white arrow goes here. Now um oh. I'll go. Now I'm confused. Okay, so you're gonna do that, and then you can move up, and then well, hold on. Then you use the explore. Then action. then I use then I'll use the explore action to put this here. The white arrow goes there. There's it. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use the stair action and go here. I'm gonna use the left action to go here. The down arrow. So orange is now on where he needs to be. He needs to yes. be on that space. So green can uh, move can to the ahead. right, and I can move down. Yes. Explore this, uh, and that's purple. So we need to get purple down here. Uh, so I'm going to go left one, down here, then I'm going to use the stairs, and then you can use your right action. I'm going to use my down action to go straight down. I'll use mine. You're going to use your, okay, I'm going to move mine down and then mine to the left. Yes. And then I go up. Up. And then up there. Good. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we've got yellow now. Yellow you can, have to go. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to reveal yeah. that and then this yeah. and then explore. And then do, okay, so there's that. Uh, so I'm going to go down, down, down oh. left, down. What are you doing? We have to get here. Oh, okay, with green. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so you actually have the ability to get there. Okay, so I'm going to move oh, left for us. Use the stairs. Layers. Move left again. Move down again. You have to go. No. Well, no, because we just need to get to there. So uh, yeah. use your right. There you go. And then yellow. And yellow. Um, has to go all the way back up. Yellow, we need to find where yellow can move to. We have to use some of these other tokens to explore, I think. So we might have to get purple off these spaces. Like, let's, let's use, um, yeah, purple's the only one that can explore these. So I'm going to move purple off this space temporarily, to the left, and then down, and to the left, and now you... I'll go up, and then... And then I get to use the explore action to reveal this. Is it yellow? Yes, it is. Okay, yellow. now here's a green and a orange. Okay, there's yellow. Yeah, we don't need... We, that's it. Yeah, we need to find the exit, though. We don't have the exit yet, so we need to keep revealing tiles until we find the we exit. We just have to get the timer. And we also need to flip the timer at some point. So, uh, so let's, let's bring... Let's, uh, purple... Uh, actually, here, I'm going to do this. Go Use your portal ability. Hard all. And I'm going to move left to flip the sand timer. Yes. Alright, awesome. Now that is out of order. So now, I'm, you need to move purple out of there for me so we can explore this room. So you go that, and then go I'll, down. And I'll move down and then over to the left. Search. And then reveal this, search. What is the exit? Uh, there's another sand timer, so we're good. Um, is that an exit? The there's a yellow one. No, we're looking for the purple. No, that's just a search which doesn't work for us. We need to get yellow up here. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, can you move yellow to the right and up and use the portal? And then uh, use the portal to here. And then I'm going to use my left to move over here. And then you can use... Uh, and again, I'm sort of playing the game myself, but you, I'm going to use my left. I'm going to go up. You go, okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to use explore. Come on, where's the exit? Okay, here's the exit. Okay, so we found the exit. 
So now, uh, let's get everyone back to where they need to be, and then we need to get out of here. So, um, let's, okay, so purple, you go purple, purple moves, first. purple moves down, or yellow moves down, oh no, down here, then you need to move everyone. Actually, move purple onto, let's see. Oh, I can't. Um, you move, oh no, he doesn't use the portal. So move him there. I'll move him down. No, move him up. I can't move him up. Oh, oh that's you can. Why would you move him up? He needs to go here. Can I use this part? No, they have to be the same color. I'm just here. Move him back down here. We'll move him. We'll move him the long way. I'll use the stairs, and then uh, you need to use your. Uh, keep him there for the moment, because we may need to use the sand timer again. Let's focus on moving yellow. So uh, move. Yellow. Move. Yeah, move yellow to the right, and then I'll move him down, and then you move him to the right again. Move him all the way to the portal, and then portal him here, and then I'll move him down, and then I'm left, yes. and then I'll go up. Okay, and then I'll move him to the left, and then I'll go up, and then you'll go up. So he's there. Now I'm gonna wait a few seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the sand timer almost run out. Then you use your right action to move here. Tell me when. I'm trying to get the most out of it. Uh, go. Okay, it's out of order. Okay, so back to the left with me. Uh, go down. No, no, all the way down. You go left and then. All I I go all the way down and then you go, you move to the right. I move down. I move left. You move up. Okay, there we go. So now we've all. The portal system is deactivated. Now we all have to get to this exit. And we can use this here, if we need to, to flip the timer again. So let's get so everyone let's get, up there. Yeah, uh, I'm going to move, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start moving people based on what I can do. We need to move them over and over. Well, actually, we can move them up, down. Huh. All right. And I'll go up with him. All right, left, and then stairs, down, left. Let's put them together. And I could put him up. Like you need it. Or up right here. Mm hmm And he'll go right here. You can't move on the same space. So uh, move, move. You need to move. Uh, I'll put him on one. Okay. And, and then, then over here. So we need to get yellow. So let's go to him there. Okay. And then I'll. Well, you got to move him. I can't move him up. All right. And then yep. Keep going. Okay. Um. Keep moving. I can't move anyone up. Uh, you move. Let's see, I'll move him up here. Okay. Right now. Uh, move him here. Oh no, move him up here. And then move, I'll move him left. I'll move him up. Okay, I'll move him left. And then... I'll move him left. Yes, I'll go him up here. Okay, I'll move... Can you move him, please, for me? Here, him? Yeah, up to the stairs. And then I'll use the stairs. And then use the right to bring... Actually, I'll bring yellow up. Alright, but I can't move him over here until... I know. Here, let's here get orange first. Move him out, out of there. Okay, now move. Okay, I'm gonna move him left. I'll go up. Okay, I'll use the stairs, and then you're gonna use the right action. Okay, good. Um, we need to keep someone at the stairs. We need to keep someone seven. here because time's about to run out again. I'm gonna move him left, and not him left. Uh, go ahead and I'll, move. I'll move him up. Move him all the way up. Yep. Move him up. Move him to move the left. Him up. Now, I'll keep them there, and then I'll use my down, down to there. flip the timer. Let's go. concentrate on purple now. Left. Then up. Up. And then, then stair, uh, my stair action. Plus and then exit. Right. I know we're not exactly playing by the rules here, but, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and use the down action to flip, flip the it. sand. Yeah, we have plenty of time. And then he can use his up. Up. And then my left. <laughs> then up. Technically, we shouldn't be using each other's. Like, if I'm going to be using the stairs, I need to be the one moving the pawn. But, this is again, this is just an introductory game. And then he uses his right, and he's out. We so, we win. That is basically how you play the game. And out of order tokens should go here. And that, that essentially is uh, Magic Maze. A really we cool game. Timers. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. And I can only imagine what this game would be like without the communication aspect. That is like, could, I mean, just... This would be so much different if we w if we It'd didn't communicate. Chaotic. It would be chaotic. Like I'd be going like I'd be pointing at color or I don't know if you can point at a color. I'm gonna have to check that out. Or maybe do something or whatever. Like we would have to really be in sync with one another and be like, hey, I want to do this. Or we have to be observant of each other's moves 
and try and figure out what they're trying to do, while at the same time, they're going to try and figure out what we're trying to do, so that we can coordinate and get everything, uh, you know, squared away before time runs out. And again, that was just the introductory scenario. We actually have another sand timer hidden. So if we explored another room, we could have gotten another sand timer here. But that, in a sense, yeah, right here. <laughs> that, that is just a quick look at Magic Maze. Again, it supports up to eight players. And uh, the more players you have, the less action per player that you get. So, um, like, for example, if you're playing uh, the solo, the solo game is a bit different. You just keep uh, drawing tiles with one hand, one at a time. And so you get the action you want, you move. Then you keep doing that, and then you move, you know... So it, the solo play is a little different, but uh, overall, I think this is a really cool game. What about you? Did you like this yeah. as a solo game? It's a good cooperative. Well, as a, as a cooperative game, rather. Yeah, I, I did if like If you this. can talk, then yeah, it makes it kind of fun. Yeah, if you can talk, it definitely it, it definitely helps the game if you can communicate with each other. I mean, there are some rules in the rule book that state that you can do that, um, but... For the most part, like, there's a communication restriction. Uh, you can stare intensely at another player, take the do-something pawn, place it in front of them, uh, but this player may not agree, blah, blah, blah. Okay, each time the sand timers flip, the players are allowed to speak for as long as they wish while the sand continues to flow. No actions can be performed during the discussion time. So players can still, like, whenever you land on this here and flip the sand timer, you can discuss things. You just can't perform actions while you do it. But once you start performing actions again, then you have to be quiet. So that's an interesting take on that too. So yeah, uh, we're probably going to try out the uh, you know the no talking variant next time. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. The extra king palm burger. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to this thing? Wow. This, the King Burglar. He's the one who stole it all. Yeah, the King Burglar. Okay. These, these are the little minions. Okay, the little minions. <laughs>